Welcome once again to the fire. I hope you are well. In this next story, well, we have a player who is in a situation that's, well, not that great. How do I tell my DM that I feel like I'm the only one not having fun in the sessions? r slash rpg horror stories posted by jenny is perfect so my boyfriend got me a DD campaign for christmas last year and we've been playing with our friends all through the pandemic i love my friends and the campaign and my character but i feel like at best my boyfriend totally ignores me during the game and at worst belittles me in our sessions. A few times he even used the moderator function in Discord to mute me. We've talked about that and he hasn't done it since, but it still makes me mad to think about. I'm not the best player. I can be annoying and I don't know all the rules, but I put a lot of thought into my character. I'm playing a cleric based on a French novel and I've really gotten into it. I designed him to be a bad cleric with low wisdom because I thought it would be fun to play someone who was trying really hard at something they aren't good at. Everyone ribs me a little for it but my boyfriend sometimes will start shit-talking how bad my character is, and it hurts sometimes. Every week, I come to my boyfriend with ideas about what I want to do, but it feels like he always shuts me down. We had a friend guest star in a session, and the DM directed him, a vampire, to bite me. My character got into a romance with another PC and a magical chastity belt appeared on him the next day. My character wanted to erase said romance from his memory. DM said that the potion would take a month to brew. We've been playing for 11 months and only a month had passed in game. I'm not saying that I want to be allowed to do whatever I want but I feel like he's punishing me specifically. It's gotten to the point where I half dread going to sessions. A few weeks ago, I had talked to him about multi-classing as a bard, and he said that was fine. I prepared a bunch of homebrew and stuff, and I was really excited. And then, 30 minutes before the session, he said, that he didn't think it was a good idea. I know it's just a game, but I was really upset, and I cried our entire session with my mic on mute. It's not the first session that I felt like I couldn't participate because I was so upset. Today, he gave us a puzzle that no one could understand and we were all getting frustrated so I said that I wanted to just shoot guiding bolt at the door. I knew it probably wouldn't do anything but no one could figure it out and he just ignored me. I had to repeat a few more times before he even acknowledged what I said. He doesn't treat the other players this way. I feel like I'm not welcome in the game, not by the other players, just by him. Like, I'm not playing the way I should, or the way that he wants me to. I don't know what to do. I don't want to hurt his feelings and tell him that he's making the game risible for me. And I don't want to stop playing, because when I get to just roleplay with my friends, we have a great time. I know the situation is to just talk to him about it. I just don't even know where I'd start. Does anyone have any advice or thoughts? I just want to stop crying before, during, after sessions. TLDR, 
The DM of our group is my boyfriend, and I feel like he treats me differently slash worse than the other players. Wow, my heart really goes out to OP here. I mean, I understand not wanting to show favoritism at the table, but honestly, from what I'm reading here, it's gone from not wanting to show favoritism to just singling out OP and punishing her for whatever reason the DM has. Especially the whole crying during the session thing? That's definitely a red flag, and when you start dreading being actually at the game itself, it's really time to consider finding another group or having a really serious talk with someone. But I understand that because this is OP's significant other, that can be an issue. But that might also become a part of a bigger problem. Also, in regards to a few of the other points, like playing a suboptimal character, you should be able to play whatever you want to. As long as you understand that you are going to be suboptimal at things, especially things that you are supposed to be good at, then that's fine. The whole homebrew thing, well, as long as you laid out everything with your DM well beforehand and gotten their approval, then you should be fine on that front as well. But when the DM decides to change your mind last minute, i.e. a hour before the session, that's not right. Alright now, looking at everything that has been laid out in this story, OP's significant other has been mean, petty, and cruel, especially since this D&D campaign was supposed to have been OP's Christmas present. Yeah, that's not right at all. Too bad there's no receipt on this one. This really feels like there's some sort of bigger underlining problem. Here's hoping that OP sits down with their significant other and lays out everything that OP has a problem with in an open and straightforward way because ignoring the problem can affect the actual relationship outside of the game. As I have already said many many times, communication is key in relationships between player and DM and definitely between significant others. And that's our story. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button for more future content. Also, if you would kindly follow the socials posted in the description, that would be amazing. As always, be good, be great, be awesome.